Hi and welcome to the text specific extrude tutorial. As you can see, I've got some text here. It's live, it updates in real time, that's great. And because it's a text layer, it's continuously rasterized. Doesn't matter how big we make this text, it's always gonna look great. Something that you may be wondering is, do we support variable fonts? So here I have a variable font and I've just added a stroke. And the stroke here is just to demonstrate that often variable fonts are designed in a way that makes it easier for them to be animated, but it's unconventional for non-variable fonts. And for example, here we have a self-intersecting path. If we were to just say apply extrude to this, it works and it handles that self intersection like a champ. And if you wanted to then animate the weight of this font, the general method for that would be to convert it into a shape path or a mask path and then animate the path itself. So here if we go layer create shapes from text, we can do that. And there we have a shape layer, which is the variable font outlines. And of course you can add extrude to that. I just removed the stroke and then you could come in and animate the path itself. One thing about variable fonts is that if you have self intersection and you go layer create masks from text, while masks are simpler and easier to use, uh, in terms of self intersection, they don't really handle that very well. Whereas with shape paths, they have shape direction, fill rules, etc. And we go into all of those in the tutorial specific to shape layers. But back to text, and here I have another layer and it's got a mask path attached to it. The plugin supports path aligned text. So we come into text, path options here and choose that mask. I will set the reverse path to on and then just change the margin. And here we have it going around the path, which is really cool. And of course you can animate the path while you're at it. And last but not least, text has some really powerful text animators. So let's dive into those. So. For example, we have animate here and we have a bunch of different things we can do. We support the majority of these. So anything in terms of 2D transforms, we support. So let's just say we add a skew here. And what's really great about this is because it's continuously rasterized, we can skew the hell out of this and it's still being drawn pixel perfect. Even though the text itself is a hot mess, the rendering of it is perfect. So any of these 2D transforms we support, we do not support opacity because opacity doesn't change the vertices of the text. If you want to change the opacity, you can change the opacity of the fill and stroke itself. We also don't support per character 3D. If you want to make it 3D, you can, but you'll need to create it as a 3D camera. We also don't support these three here, stroke color, stroke width, and fill color, because they're controlled via the plugin. But we do support tracking line anchor, line spacing, character offset, and character value. Tracking's really handy. It just adds like this little extra dimension of animation going on there, and you just increase it over time. Really easy way to improve the production value of your animation. Let's jump in and actually do a practical example. I'm going to animate the scale. I'm going to set the scale to zero. Then in the range selector, I'm going to animate it from minus 100 to 100. And then in the advanced tab, I'm going to just choose my preferred easing parameters, which is a ramp up with an ease low of 100%. And then if we hit play, you can see we're getting a beautiful animation happening. So that's about all the specifics for text layers. Check out the wiki if you want any more information, as well as those other videos if you're interested in doing variable font text morphs, check out the tutorials specific to mask paths and shape layers, as that will have more information on the nitty gritty of say merge paths, per path transforms and things like that.